Hey everyone, happy Monday. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Connor here. I hope you guys are having a great day so far and a good start off to your week. I've actually got a Yankee Candle video today and I picked up some of the new holiday scents. I actually picked up all of them. There is five brand new holiday scents at Yankee Candle for 2022, a part of the Snow Globe Wonderland collection. I have three large signature jars right here and then I have two wax melts. So um, I'm really excited to share with you guys my thoughts on these scents while they are on cold and just share the notes and, you know, give you guys some initial thoughts. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to start off by just showing you guys the scents and then I'll go into each in depth. So, of course, the main one, Snow Globe Wonderland, looks like this. Okay, then we have Winter Night Stars. I love the color of that wax. Then we have Peppermint Pinwheels. As you can see, I burnt this one last night. Then we have, and the wax melts, Snowflake Kisses. And then... Finally, Spun Sugar Flurries. So those are the five new scents. Let's go in depth, starting with the Snow Globe Wonderland one. So the Snow Globe Wonderland collection says, find holiday magic in a frosted forest, catching a falling snowflake, gaze at a winter's night sky full of stars and enjoy special homemade desserts. So, Snow Globe Wonderland, this is the original, or sorry, not original, this is the signature jar right here, the big one. So this one says, Snow Globe Wonderland, enter an idyllic winter world full of never-ending flurries scented with icy mint, eucalyptus, and cedarwood notes. So your top notes are, sorry, I've got really bad eyes and the text is really small. Okay, so the notes are Icy Mint, snar Star Anise, Sage, and Holly Berry. Your mint notes are Nutbag, Eucalyptus, and Lavender. And then your base notes are Cedarwood, Praline, and Snow Moss. I love this. This smells spectacular. This, to me, smells very, very, like, cozy and it smells like a perfume almost like it's very powdery it's very cozy it's musky i really like it i think it's really really nice um i think it smells super powdery and musky and it's got just like that perfume type of vibe um so from the notes i do pick up like that like outdoorsy feel from this one yeah, I definitely pick up like the cedar wood, the snow moss, the eucalyptus, like that earthiness to this one. I get the anise as well. I really like anise. There's a bit of mint to this one, just like a tiny mint and I get the icy mint for sure. But I really, really like this one. This is really nice and I think that this is going to be like a nice scent to either have going during the holidays but I also feel like this one would be best, in my opinion, for after the holidays in like January. So I really like this one. I love the look of these two. So Snow Globe Wonderland is definitely a hit. Okay, next up we have this one. This one is called Winter Night Stars and I also have it here in the signature jar. This one says, gaze up at the starry night sky as notes of rose, amber, and musk swirl on an icy breeze. And then your top notes are citrus, fresh fallen snow, and eucalyptus. Your mid notes are rose, solar, winter bloom. And then your base notes are snow, amber, woody, ivory musk. I also really like this one. Now, to me, this one is not as much of a holiday scent in my opinion um i get a lot of the like air type of smell to it like it's got the amber for sure it's got like ivory it's got musk i feel like i get some cashmere in here and it does have a floralness to it with like the winter bloom and the rose 
I also think it has a bit of like a mintiness with like that eucalyptus and just like like a freshness from the citrus like it's just really nice though I like this one it's very complex and I'm not sure if it's specifically like a holiday type of scent but I definitely enjoy it and I'm excited to get into this one I also love that like blue shade of color of the wax so that is the winter night stars okay next up we have the peppermint pinwheels this one kind of interested me because you guys know how i love peppermint so it's this one right here also i think that the candy cane lane scent which was like a staple for yankee at the holiday i'm pretty sure that that one has been discontinued which is kind of shocking to me because i thought that that one was like a fan favorite but who knows uh, I feel like this candle, though, could replace it. Like, this is a good peppermint scent. So, this one says, The scent of homemade peppermint pinwheel cookies made sweeter when shared with friends and family. Your top notes are sparkling peppermint, melted butter, and sea salt. Your mid notes are kettle corn, crushed candy cane, and winter mint. And your base notes are whipped vanilla, dark chocolate, and frosted spearmint. I love this a lot. So this is different than the Candy Cane Lane. It's different because I feel like this one has more of a gourmand feel to it. Reminds me a bit of like Peppermint Sugar Cookie from Bath and Body Works. And also Candy Cane Lane from Kringle Candle. Kringle has their own Candy Cane Lane, which is a totally different scent than Candy Cane Lane from Yankee. This smells really, really good, though. I actually like this one a lot. It has that sea salt. Like, I definitely pick up the sea salt. And I pick up, like, a chocolate to this one as well. And I can't remember where in that. There's a chocolate note. Dark chocolate. I get, like, a whipped vanilla. It's creamy. It's like a dessert. It's like a peppermint dessert. It smells fantastic, though. I really, really like this. Um, I just love peppermint during the holiday time. It's super, like, fresh and cleansing and just, like... Kind of nostalgic for me, I think. And I think that's why I love it so much. I just love peppermint in the holiday time. So I love peppermint pinwheels. And this is the only peppermint one now at, um, at Yankee. Because I don't think that they have a candy cane lane. And I... Ooh, that scared me. My dog. Be quiet. <laughs> that really scared me. I jumped. But uh, stop barking. Someone's here probably. Give me one. Okay, I backed and I calmed her down. But as I was saying, this is like the new Yankee peppermint scent, I think, because they don't have Candy Cane Lane anymore, and I don't think that they really have North Pole anymore. I think that one is an online exclusive. So I really like this, though, and I'm not sad that it's gone as much anymore now because this is a pretty good replacement. This is a delicious peppermint gourmand scent. Okay, next up, we have the wax melts. So, um... The first one is called Spun Sugar Flurries. This one says, enjoy the perfect festive centerpiece. The scent of cake layered with festive fruits and dusted with drifts of powdered sugar and spun sugar. And then your notes are going to be whipped pineapple, lemon, apricot, and apple. Your mid notes are cinnamon, jasmine, Mugwet. I don't even know what that is. If you know, comment down below. Sandalwood, evergreen snow, brandy, and then your base notes are sponge sugar, amber, sandalwood, cedarwood, musk, and moss. Okay, I like this one. It's not my favorite. It's not my typical type of scent. You guys know I don't always love the fruity scents, and I do get like some fruitiness from this one. I feel like this scent has a lot of like different compartments. I feel like I definitely get like a cake to this one. That's like the layer, the bottom layer. Then I feel like the second layer is like a fruitiness to this one where I get like the lemon and the apple mo mostly. I don't really get pineapple. I mean, mm, I don't know. It's just like a fruitiness. Uh, and then I feel like the top note is like a muskiness and a powdered sugar. Like, I feel like this is a very, like, 
powdery type of scent, like sweet cake with like sugar on it. But it's got like a musky perfuminess as well. It's kind of similar to the Snow Globe Wonderland, but it has a fruity component to it. It's not my favorite, but I'm going to definitely use it in the wax melt and just like see how it is because it's not like I hate it. It's just not for me. So that is the Spun Sugar Flurries. And then last but not least, we have the Snowflake Kisses. So this one, come on, I can't find it. This website is very hard to navigate. If you've ever used the Yankee website, you will know that it's not easy. Okay, so Snowflake Kisses, Kisses says, catch the frosty kiss of a snowflake with powdery notes of violet, rose, and white musk. Your notes are gonna be peach, nectar, strawberry, and raspberry. Your mid notes are gonna be violet, orris, and rose. And then your base notes are gonna be powdery accord, sandalwood, and white musk. Okay, so I actually really like this scent. I need to open it. Okay, I really, really like this scent. Um, The problem is with it is it's not a holiday scent at all. Like I got it in the wax melt and I think I would probably pick up more wax melts, but for the springtime, this is not at all a, like a holiday scent in my opinion. Really, none of these are that holiday-like except for the Peppermint Pinwheels one, but this one's not holiday at all. This is a very floral type of scent with some fruity notes in there, but it's got, you know, that like perfumey muskiness to it. A lot of these are musky. I like it though. It smells good. Um, I think it's very strong. If you don't like florals, you will probably not like this one. And I know there are a lot of people out there that don't like the floral scents. I do like it. I think that I would like this more like after the holidays, maybe in the spring, like when the bloom starts to come. It smells very like floral though. I definitely get the rose. I definitely get like the violet and the peony, I feel like. But then I also get like the fruitiness with the peach and the strawberry and the raspberry, but also like a perfumey, pow oops, perfumey powderiness with like the sandalwood, some amber in there. It's a pretty scent though. I think this is like a perfume type of scent. I do like it though. Snowflake kisses, but it's not specifically for holiday. So that is my thoughts on the new five scents from Yankee Candles Holiday Collection for 2022. Let me know down below in the comments if you've picked up any of these up and let me know your thoughts on the scent so far. If you burn them, what are your thoughts so far on that? Thank you so much for watching my video. Please make sure to give it a like and a subscribe if you want to help support my channel. I will link these down below, whether you want to try them in the candles or in the wax melts, if you don't want to, you know, commit to a large star, or you can go to your local Kohl's. I know I found them there or at your local Yankee store if you still have one. I still have one, but I know a lot of people lost theirs during COVID. But anyways, thanks so much for watching and I will be back tomorrow for some new candle reviews. See you then. Bye.